So as I was sharing, I got this divine download from Sojourner Truth in my tarot reading today. And so I was guided to open this up and it was where my thumb landed on page 73. And here it is the sacred message. I'm just going to start reading from um, where my eye catches and says, here we go. One thing she was sure of that perceives, do unto others as ye would have them do unto you. Love your neighbor as yourself and so forth were maxims that had been but little thought of by herself or practiced by those about her. Her next decision was that she must leave the city. It was no longer a place for her. Yeah, she felt called in spirit to leave it and to travel east and lecture. She had never f been further east than the city. Neither had any of the friends there, neither had any, any friends there whom she had particular reason to expect anything. Yet to her, it was plain that her mission lay in the east and that she would find friends there. She determined on leaving, but these determinations and convictions had kept her, kept clothes locked in her own breast, knowing that if her children and friends were aware of it, they would make such ado about it, it would render it very unpleasant, if not distressing to all parties. Is this not magical? Having made what preparations for leaving she deemed necessary, which was to put a few articles of clothing in a pillowcase, all else being deemed unnecessary encumbrance. About an hour before she left, she informed Mr. Whiting, Mrs. Whiting, the woman of the house where she was stopping, that her name was no longer Il Isabella, but Sojourner, and that she was going east. And to her inquiry, where are you going east for? Her answer was, the spirit calls me there and I must go. She left the city on the morning of June 1st of 1843, crossing over to Brooklyn, Long Island, and taking the rising sun for her only compass and guide. She remembered Lot's wife, and hoping to avoid her fate, she absolved not to look back until she felt sure the wicked city from which she was fleeing was, no, was too far behind to be visible in the distance. And when she first ventured to look back, she could see discern the blue cloud of smoke that hung over it, and she thanked the Lord that she was thus far removed from what seemed to be her to be to her seemed to to her a second Sodom. Wow, was that bibliomancy or what? So stay tuned tomorrow for more. So, what message did you get for your future self? And I invite you to join me for next week's webinar, Step Into Your Future Self, Aligning, aligning with 2024, so you can really get crystal clear on that. Thank you so much, and until next time, happy reading.